Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to episode 5 of Attingham Park. So I hope you guys are well. We are just carrying off from where we left off. Uh, so as you can see, um, the mower's going around. And we have got to do some soil sampling in field 36. Uh, so we get that done straight away. Um, we use the Ford as the uh, John Deere is on the mower. Yes, I hope you guys are all well and good. I hope you're having a good day. So, let's hook on to that. And let's get some samples taken. It's only a little field, so it really isn't going to take long. So, we'll open that up. We'll just go around and see what we're going to need. It is um, a fairly sort of slow job, but when it's a field this size, it's really not too bad. Uh, if we if we're doing the grass field, I feel like it would take way way longer, and I'd probably have to time lapse it. But I don't think we're gonna have to time lapse this. Uh, so let's try and get it all. There's gonna be an annoying bit left in the corner, which we're gonna go have to get. There's nothing we can do about that. Just do that, there we go. But yeah, we will see. So he's he's doing just fine. We also once we've sampled this, hopefully they won't take long to come back and we can put some fur on or some lime on depending on what the field requires uh, I know we don't have too much money to be spending but I mean what is our loan? It's 230,000 uh, it has been a little while since I last played since I last recorded the last episode so I just need to get sort of catch up myself on where we are uh, I can see there we've got that's got water that's got olives and that is all okay as well uh, so there we go so, so I believe it's Y to send off the soil samples so we go I fold this up Take it back to the shed. Alright, so there we go. That should have been analysed. So we've got sandy loam. Which I think is actually pretty good. Uh, for yield. Uh, the pH isn't too bad. But it does need doing, really. And the nitrogen isn't too bad either, so... Uh, the nitrogen is bad, but depending on what crop we put in will depend on how much fertilizer we need to put on. Uh, so that's the first job of the day done. We will pop this back in the shed here and we will just see how John Deere is getting on. So he's just started doing the ups and downs now, so it's going to be a fair while on that. Um, so we've got two choices. We can go and have a look, Let's see what we've got in here. It's got nothing, so we're going to need some lime and we're going to need some fertilizer. Uh, also, we should probably check the cows, because we do have cows, just make sure they're all alright. Yep, so they're fine. Fine. Okay, they're happy. So I think what we're going to do is head over to the shop and buy some fertilizer and buy some lime. Get it loaded up on the trailer. We might have to take a bit more of a loan, but it's stuff we're going to need. Um, also, we need some seed as well, actually. So we'll grab some seed while we're there. 
So a bit of everything, we just need to get it done, get some supplies picked up, and yeah, brought back to the yard. Okay, here we are at the shop. We have made the long drive here just to go all the way back again once we put some seed on. So, what we got? A little bit there. So, I think if we just get alone now because it's going to need to happen. And we buy. So, we've got a bag of seed. So, we know we're going to need a fair bit of lime. So, we definitely want four bags, and we definitely want two bags at least of fertilizer. Um, I'll get these put on the trailer and see what that looks like, see if we can squeeze any more on. So, we actually managed to get three across here, just about. So, I'm thinking I may as well load this trailer right up. Uh, while we're here, so we don't have to keep making trips. Um, so I'm going to buy some more fertilizer, another two bags of fertilizer, because we're always going to use it regardless, and we're going to need, I'd say, another four bags of lime, because they go super quick, and just to, how many is that? So... I'll get them on and then see what we have left. So there we go, all I did was buy an extra seed bag. So we have got a really full trailer there. As you can see we've got 4,000 litres of seed, 16,000 litres of lime and 1,750 litres of seed. I might have said seed for the first one, but I meant fertiliser. But there we go. So that is a lovely trailer load, ready to head back to the yard. It's a bit messy, but it's strapped on. And that is going to save us many a trip in the future. So we will get over this bridge. And then I will quickly show you guys how the John Deere is doing. And uh, then I will take this back to the farm. So let's just quickly have a look. Now we're off the sort of main stretch of road. So yeah, John Deere's flying along. It's not got much left. So yeah, I will get back to the farm and I will see you once we are there. Here we are guys, we're just pulling into the yard now, just about to pass our greenhouse, lovely stuff. Um, so yeah, we made it okay, that was good, it was a successful journey. Now I need to figure out where to put this. I think in this shed here will be good. Uh, I think we'll organise organize it somehow. We undo it all. Uh, what do we want? Maybe we put lime in here. I reckon so. Uh, I'll get the lime stacked up in here. And then maybe we will put 
seed and fertilizer over here or something. I think that's the plan. Well, I'll get on and do it and show you guys once it's done. Okay, so that is the trailer unloaded. We will put that back in here. It's quite a short trailer, so it's actually quite tricky to reverse. There we go. And we'll switch the Ford off for just a second. Oh, well, I didn't actually switch it off, but that's fine. And I'll show you what I've done. So, we've got our lime in here, our seed here, and our fertilizer in here. So yeah, the farm's coming together now. We've got a few supplies. Uh, so let's check on the John Deere. John Deere's doing really well. Still plodding along. Happy days. Right. So, what we are going to do, I believe, is find our fertilizer spreader. And we will get some lime put on field 36. And then once we have lime to the field, we can then go ahead and drill it with something. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what crop it's going to be yet. Um, but we will see. So, how many bags is it going to take? It's not the biggest fur spinner in the world. I could definitely add some more extensions in the future. So there we go. Oh, okay, but it is heavy. Right. Um, we'll have to unload that again. Perhaps only half fill it. There's going to be a lot of running around, though. Okay, so we can do 72%. I think that's just fine. Interesting. It is still quite light on the front, though. You do feel it in the back. So it's probably a good job we don't have the uh, extra extensions yet. Alright, I know the uh, lime goes very quick when you put it on with the fur box. Um, so we'll just make the most of it. It's funny shape fields, there's not really much you can do about overlaps. Just sort of have to wing it. Right. Uh, so we're actually probably not even going to get that in another in another load, but we'll see. It's not a long job, that's for sure. Not when you've got the working width for this anyway. Um, right. Let's try and get a bit more. go so that's that filling up oh no we don't okay oh 95 percent is really pushing it we'll see I think it'll be fine once um, once you've emptied some if we just get a nice straight bit of field I think we'll be all right not like that we'll get this bit over here come on there we go here we go oh perfect so we're back down to 70%. We'll just go down into this corner and see what we can see what we can get. I don't know if we're gonna get all of it. Yeah, we need to just shut it off as we go. Just so we're not wasting our expensive line basically. Right, there we go. Just that little bit. Hopefully we can get that. Uh, and that's one job out of the way. 
I mean, it is it is slow going, but with the jobs, not with the limes running, but with regards to the jobs, it is slow going. So there we go. Ah, we'll try and get this a little bit. Oh, I don't think that's actually. We won't worry about that. So now, if we get out, we have got a perfect pH value. So we can put this first spinner away for now. And we can have a look how the John Deere is getting on. And I think he's probably going to be almost finished. And if that's the case, then we will put the tether on this tractor. Yeah, he's almost done. And I think we'll do the same again as what we did last time. Uh, which is Ted around the outside to make hay from the outside. And we will keep the silage for... No, well, we'll keep the middle for silage. I will see you once we are today. Okay, so we just got to the field. We will unfold our tether. And I don't think we're going to make much hay. I think what we'll do is probably use the natural sort of lines. So I think we'll probably go around twice with the tether. Um, because we don't actually need massives of hay at this point. But we do need massives of uh, money so uh, I'll shoot around this field twice um, and then I will set up the rake as well and um, we can get the get the hay made basically is what I'm gonna do so we're, we'll go around twice with the tether and we'll take the tether back take the John Deere back and get some hay baling done I reckon um, and then the middles all the long work we we'll do for silage uh, which we can then sell near enough straight away so yeah I think we're time lapse this and let's get some progress made Just check in on the cows here while uh, we wait for the baler to catch up a bit. Uh, they're looking very healthy. But here comes the Ford. 
it is working very hard on that baler. Looking smart. Right, let's, let's carry on a bit more. Uh, so I think we'll probably get this done today, just going around the outside one more time. And I think we'll probably call it an episode there. Um, I'm not sure how long this episode's been, but hopefully it's not too short. But, you know, maybe if it's too short I'll make the next one longer. But I just think it's better to not do too much of the same. I know we've harvested this field already and we've literally done this in the last couple of episodes. So my plan is get this hay crop done. In the next episode we'll get our arable field planted and we will get this silage bailed up. I might even do a bit of the silage off screen and that way you know it changes that up a bit. Once we've got this field done once we've picked up the hay and put it in the shed and we've wrapped the, wrapped the silage and also got that loaded up well it'll be a couple of loads of that then um, then I know we can split this field up so it's not so big and make perhaps another arable field um, and that way you know it keeps it a bit more interesting rather than doing grass all the time but we can't odds it at the early stages because we just need the money so there's nothing really we can do but yeah I think there's a few a few bales coming around so it is thicker on the outside because that all was fertilised so there's a good amount of hay bales I can see and these are big hay bales so they are 8,000 litres each so, you know, we're not doing too bad. Uh, I can already see just three, four, five, six, seven. There's probably eight out here already, so, you know, that's that's pretty good. That's a lot better than what we got last time. Um, so, yeah, there's a positive there. Um, we shouldn't have to do any hay for a couple of days, a good few days, in fact. Uh, just because we've only got a few cows, so it should keep them busy. Uh, also, we actually are, if we get on with this silage, we're going to be in uh, December. It'll be December with the time we sell it, which is a good month for silage, I believe. Yeah, even better, January or February. So, it will be, oh dear. I'm not too sure how that's happened. I have to correct that. We'll just move this out of the way. Unfortunately, the follow me has now stopped working, so we have to take over quick. But there we are. We haven't done any baling yet, so it's probably not a bad thing. It's looking good, the chrome baler. And the Ford is working hard. As soon as we can get a bigger tractor, uh, it would be wise to do so, I believe. I think this silage from the middle of this should bring in good money. That way, once we sell that, it's it's probably possible that we'll be able to afford a afford a combine, and then once we got a combine we should be able to start looking at upgrading the tractors next uh, obviously we need a some sort of trailer as well but we'll get we'll cross that bridge when we come to it but yeah this this to keep the cows going for a good few days oh doesn't like this hill it does really need a bit more horsepower to run a square baler but We have to use what we got, so there we go. hop back in the John Deere and we will finish this off. It's always a job to know what to do on the corners. If you were paying attention in the time lapse I did earlier, you'll see that we got to basically this position and the uh, track stopped. Probably like what it's going to do. No, it's alright, there we go.
and this tractor really, really needs a wash. So one, yeah, like I said, once you've done this field, we'll we'll get the kit cleaned up, and get the drill on, and um, hopefully, hopefully we'll start to see some progress, and you guys can see something a bit different. But you know, it's going well. It's going well. I don't think there's much more we could do really other than what we've done so we've started from sort of nothing so it does it does make a difference all right there we go and that's that bed ejected get that fold oh, actually no we won't fold it up because we're going to be using it uh, at the beginning of next episode so look at this nice little backdrop um, right into the sun so we come around the side but yeah thanks for watching guys uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time please be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed and yeah see you later bye bye